Yo, what's good everyone? Welcome back to another Shamshir Sound video. Today I'm going to be replying to one of you guys' comments, which reads, Hi, thanks Ali, it's been a while. Can I ask you to make a video on how to organize FL Browser for using it in projects? Most of the time I lose finding sounds in projects and I cannot stay on track and lay down my exact ideas and sounds, which I hear from my head before actually recording it. Thanks in advance and I appreciate it. Thank you, brother. That is from HY. That comment is a solid comment. And like I said, if you guys have any suggestions, throw them in the comment section below. Um, essentially, the, the idea I get is you're wondering how you can maybe improve workflow, finding those samples that you're looking for. Of course, the PAX is on our left side there. So when you collapse this window here, if it's hidden, just to go ahead and open that, resize that browser window. Now the PAX for me, is something that contains like it is the hierarchy of all my samples and you can add more directories to those samples um, I'm sure I've made a video about that um, in the file settings I believe so I have it on a SSD aside from my main drive e slash packs and everything goes in there um, now when I collapse packs you, you'll see I did something kind of strange and this is kind of my first tip is Depending on the samples that you often use, what you can do is you can organize it. And I have them, they're organized alphabetically by default. But what I do is I, I put them all in caps. I put these like AA, AE or something, or and I only did it for a few of them. Um, but I often go into a folder like the signature sounds, which you can get from for free shameless plug <laughs> or I often go into like my private pack and so what I'll do is I'll put that AA in front of it just so um, with the title it will be bumped up higher in the packs and I can know okay I want to go signature sounds I want to go to my effects I want to go to downlifters for instance now one thing that I did early days is that I would hoard a lot of VSTs and likewise I would hoard a lot of samples I'm beginning now to reduce those samples because there are some packs I don't even go inside. Like I'll tell you right now, I've in the past 30 days, I've used private sample pack, I've used signature sounds. I've probably used nothing from audio animals. I maybe checked out some stuff from Black Octopus Cymatics. I didn't use anything. Um, you know, so there's a lot that we have to say to ourselves, like, do I need this sample pack or is it going to bombard my workflow and make it difficult to find the sample that I'm looking for, right? Because if we think once you start using those samples often enough, um, you'll be able to navigate to them quickly. For instance, like I know that, okay, if I want an ad lib from Signature Sounds, I'll go to it. I'll collapse the vocal, I'll go to vocal one shots and I'll find what I'm looking for. But of course, if that doesn't work for you and there are some commonly used samples, go ahead and uh, render those. What I've done too, um, I'm putting together the next signature sounds. Um, I have this area that says samples, Ali and Adam taste. And I have like new samples I haven't released yet, but um. This way I have like all my samples ready to go and I'm using those in new projects because there's a lot of stuff that are annoying to recreate and um, redundant to recreate. So that's the first tip is like organization of the names. The second thing is using the find function. So if you go up to this arrow, you'll see it says find and smart find. Um, and there's also next. I think they changed the keys next and previous. So if you hit control F, let's, let's give this a try. Um, but it's good for if you're trying to find a sample and you don't know necessarily what you're looking for. You just know that hopefully the sample is called like gun reload or something. So let's just search like here are there some samples that say arena. So let me just do control F and I'll search arena. Okay, so it came here, it came to Shamshir Sound. Let's try this again. It went to the desktop, so let's come here. Do Arena, so it went to Shamshir Sound again. Let's hit F3. So when you hit F3, it searches Arena for the next folder and the next folder and 
so on and so forth. So Arena, FX Arena showed up. Now it's finally came here and it's searching that and I'm pressing F3, pressing F3, F3 again. Oh, risers, arena, synth, F3 again, arena. So this is a cool way if you want a keyword um, to just be the driving factor for what you're searching. In this case, I'm trying to find arena related stuff, whether it be relative to my song or whether it be like, oh, I'm looking for a ghost sample. Do control F, type in ghost, hit enter and keep hitting F3 because then you can cycle through your entire packs list um, to find what it is you're looking for. I haven't used that smart search um, too much, so give that a shot. If uh, any of you guys have a little bit more insight on it, feel free to let me know in the comment section. Um, but that's another way that you can find a sample that you're looking for. Um, for instance, let's do something that maybe I'm not as prepared for. So. Let's go ahead, we'll close these. Now let's say I'm looking for like gun. Now one thing you wanna be careful of is if you use a short word, it's gonna find like O-gun or Shogun or something, you know, whatever is in there. So try and be a little bit more uh, exclusive with what you search, Prida, I'll search Prida. Oh, there we go. Evolution of sound, Prida snare. So cool, and then we can keep hitting F3, Prida snares. F3 again. And so this is a fantastic way is if you were like thinking, oh sh crap, there's a pride of snare I'm looking for. Let me search it. So long as it's in the name of the sample. Of course, if it's not, or at least in the folder. So now here it broke down a folder of pride of snares. So this is a nice way that you can do that because uh, sliced beats um, or sliced audio, of course can get really messy because sliced audio is just auto-populated. Hopefully, image line, um, hopefully they find a way to organize the samples more, maybe exclusively per project. Um, maybe I'm just being stupid and not <laughs> organizing it the right way, but the uh, browser window has been, like there's been some improvements in terms of how you can change the way it looks and zooming in and out and making it a little bit more easier. But um, I think one thing that most people can agree on is the sliced audio. It would, like, it would be great to see some improvements there. So hopefully these tips are gonna help you, uh, my bro, and hopefully it helps uh, you guys as well. If you guys know of any tips that improve um, your workflow when it comes to navigating through packs, let me know. Like I said, put those letters in front of it. And uh, this I manually did, so I did that in File Explorer so that the results show up here. That helps with changing the hierarchy. And uh, you can see I also did subfolders. So for instance, here again with Vengeance, like these ones I'm not really using. I, I didn't go in like, oh, Vengeance Club or Vengeance Effects. So there I used A, B, A, D, and I let these ones take a higher, uh, higher priority in the list alphabetically. So these are some of the tips that I use when I want to uh, navigate through the searching and the organization. I hope you guys like this. If you did, remember to hit that like button. If you didn't, you can hit that dislike button. Remember to hit that subscribe if you guys enjoyed the content. I'm gonna be uploading at least once a week. Anything more than that is just extra, so consider this a bonus video. And I'll see you guys very soon. Stay strong, stay dedicated, take it easy.